I could live 10 lifetimes and never get my fill of this park. If you're new around here, I'm Sam and this is my husband, Chris. We've been traveling across North America in our RV since 2019 and spent this past summer exploring Alaska. Yesterday, we packed up our home in Talkeetna and drove two and a half hours north to Denali National Park. Denali is a national park and a preserve. Now the park was actually established back in 1917 as Mount McKinley National Park. The national park was changed to Denali in the 1980s and then the actual mountain itself was renamed Denali in 2015. We just checked in in the Denali National Park where we're going to be staying at the Teklanika campground for the next three nights. This campground does have a three night minimum, so we took off work on Friday. We drove in on Thursday afternoon, so we'll be there tonight, Friday, Saturday, leaving Sunday, giving us three full days deep, deep in the park, which is what we want to do so we can go on some hikes. So once we get to the campground, we actually cannot move the RV, so we'll be taking these park buses all around the park to do all the sightseeing and the hikes that we want to do. We are parked for the night, actually the next three nights, and behind our campsite we saw a trail, so we are walking out to the river to get some different views. So right there's the RV. And right here are gorgeous, gorgeous mountains. Morning, and we are getting ready to go jump on the shuttle to go try to find a hike. One of the unique things about Denali National Park is that they actually don't have significant amount of like structured trails in the back half of the park, which is where we're staying. A lot of it is just off trail hiking. They actually would prefer that you don't create a trail to protect the tundra. So we're gonna hop on the shuttle and see where the day takes us. We made it to the end of the road, which is the East Fork at mile 43. Last summer in 2022, you could actually get off here and you could follow the trail up to where the landslide is. But because construction has started the summer of 23, you are no longer able to walk up the trail. So we were talking with our bus driver for a bit and he had suggested um, some hikes along the way on the way back. The way it works is you just yell, stop, they stop and you can get off and go hiking and I think that's what we're gonna do. We just saw a caribou, it was very cool. We've actually never seen one before. Um, massive, massive antlers. Yeah, impressive how they maneuver through the water here. And every time they get through, they get up and they like shake a little bit. It's really, really sweet. We are going to board the bus here in just a few minutes to head back towards the park entrance. Um, we've been told already by another bus headed to come through that there is a bear up here who is sitting on the side of the road enjoying their breakfast this morning. So we might be able to see a bear. We just got off the bus at the Mount Margaret quote trailhead. This is a social trailhead, meaning it's not actually maintained by the park. We have a bit of brush to get through, so we are debating whether we scream really loud. Uh, we've already seen the bears, so I don't really want to see any more. Hello, Mr. Bear! Hello! Oh, this is very brushy! Brushy, brushy, brushy! We made it out of the brush. Um, the good news is, it only took me about three Disney songs to get through it, which is good. I have never been that scared going through brush before, just because we'd already seen a bear today in brush, even though that was literally 20 miles away from us. Better safe than sorry. But we are on what they call the social trail here, and we are heading up to this peak. I'm hoping you guys can hear this. It is super windy, as you can tell by my lovely hair right now. We are coming up to the summit, and it feels sacrilegious that we've been walking just along the tundra with no defined path. 
Uh, when we say we're off trail hiking, it means it's not a set trail. If you're not a big hiker, it's very weird to be able just to walk wherever you want. We've been trained in the lower 48 to not go off the trail to hurt the tundra, but here in Denali, they actually want you to get off the path. of Mount Margaret. What a climb. It was so hard. <laughs> but we're it, hanging behind some rocks here. The wind was absolutely crazy on the way up. Probably 50, 50 mile an hour. Oh my God, up. easily. I mean, literally took my ponytail out of my hair. I had to put it back up. Right, what we think we're gonna do, it's a pretty hard climb up here. The view is insane and we're very hungry. We think we're gonna stay hiding behind this rock and we're gonna eat lunch up here. There are tons of different like droppings for doll sheep that are here. No bears, which is very good. So we're gonna hang out. I think we're gonna eat lunch real quick and then we're gonna head back down. We have to catch a shuttle to get back to our RV and then maybe we'll do some s'mores tonight. Or some, or some beers, we'll find out. Or both, both, both. Y'all, we made it out. It's really all that mattered. We didn't get eaten by a bear. We are now walking on the road, waiting for a shuttle bus. And we're back. It was actually really serendipitous. We had the same driver who we had this morning, which is honestly, it was probably very coincidental. It doesn't happen a lot, but he was excited because he hadn't gotten a chance to do the Mount Margaret hike. And so when he had dropped us off this morning, it just happened to me we got him again, which is cool. So he was like, tell me how it was, tell me everything. So very neat. I know we talked about s'mores earlier. I don't think that's negotiable. We're gonna go get cleaned up and then maybe start a fire. Every time we go camping, we never use all of our s'more stuff. We usually have a bag of marshmallows that sits in the camper for like six months before we use it again, and I refuse to buy any more. We found this at the gift shop, which is perfect because it is three servings, which means that we can just eat these and throw it away and not have a bag of s'more uh, marshmallow things in the camper forever. Was a good cooked marshmallow. I got some marshmallow remnants here. <laughs> Leave no marshmallow behind. Good morning. We are back at the East Fork River area. Um, we're not going to do a summit hike today. We're just actually going to walk in the East Fork River uh, riverbed just along the road. Uh, we should eventually get to the landslide area in about two and a half miles ish. Just following along the road here on our right. Supposedly there's quite a bit of wildlife in the riverbed as of yesterday. So we are keeping our eyes peeled. We've got our bear spray. We're ready to go. We've made it to the landslide area, and I think we're gonna walk another mile or so up the road. Now, if we had bicycles, we could theoretically keep going, pop up to where the road actually uh, goes on down into the park, and you could explore on your own the park that way. We don't have bikes with us in the rig, so we're not going to be doing that. So we're just gonna hang out here. It is supposed to rain today, as you can see the ominous looking clouds behind me. We're going to enjoy the brief sunshine when we have it and hopefully get back to the bus before it rains. Bye-bye. So we ran into a river stream crossing. We could do it, it's about ankle deep. It's not that bad, but it requires us to take off our shoes and our socks and then cross. And we both have like extra clothes and towels in our packs for these type of situations. 
we just don't really want to do it. So we are walking actually back in the opposite direction, trying to find a spot that we think is small enough for us to cross without getting soaking wet. But so far, not really going great. It was an absolute bust. We could not find a way across. Our bus driver yesterday had told us about some hikes between here and where we're staying. So as long as the sun is still out and it hasn't started raining, we might try to go catch one more hike for the day. So we've just rounded the corner and we are heading back up toward the bridges where we got dropped off. And something peculiar has happened where they have moved the bus on the other side of the bridge, which the buses have never been over here since we've been here. And everyone is gathered around looking at we don't know what, but they're not letting anyone on the bridge. We are assuming there's a bear or some other wildlife they don't want you getting super close to. So you can see how everyone is gathered over here on this side when they usually park over here. We are very curious to see what's going on. So it was in fact a bear and actually a couple of bears. As we were coming up the stairs, we got uh, stopped by some other hikers who had been down in the riverbed with us and got called back by a ranger on a bullhorn. We were unfortunately too far away to hear it. Um, and so when we got back, they had closed down the bridge. All the buses were coming over to this side of the bridge so they could let the bears kind of clear out of the area. We are still just kind of in a holding pattern here, waiting for the bears to make their moves. We are leaving the Teklanika campground after three incredible nights. The weather has turned, it started raining late yesterday afternoon, and it's been raining most of the night into this morning, and it's still raining now. So we're going to go ahead and leave the park. We are going to actually be here for a full week past it. So we're not gonna be missing out on anything. We're just not gonna be in the park anymore. We are heading to our campsite in Healy to get checked in and maybe running some errands beforehand. cleaned up after a few days in the park and we are going to be heading to Prospect Pizza which is known for their incredible craft beer list. It's only about five or ten minutes just south of us from where we're staying and I am so hungry I cannot wait to get some pizza. So we are here at Prospector Pizza and what I did not expect was the live bear footage of Katmai National Park, which is here in Alaska. The cool thing about this place is that it has 49 beers. The reason being is that Alaska is the 49th state. So we are sitting here drinking some local beer from Alaska, waiting for a pizza and watching some incredible bear footage. So Chris and I have been feeling a bit under the weather. We both came down with a head cold. All right, so for our first day back in the park after being gone for a few days, we are actually going to the sled dog kennels. You may, may be wondering why a national park has a sled dog kennel. It actually started around 100 years ago, back when the park was just being established. This park is massive, about 6 million acres, so the first superintendent actually uh, bought a team of sled dogs to patrol the boundaries of the park to make sure the poachers and hunters were staying where they were supposed to stay outside of the park. Today, they're obviously not doing that job anymore, but they still do have some important jobs here in the park uh, to preserve it. And also one of their most important jobs is to make all of the wives say, aw, and cute so many times and want a dog. I have a dog. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Hello there. Oh. We 
start at the Horseshoe Lake Trail. This trail is a relatively flat two mile trail that goes, believe it or not, around a lake. This hike is one of the most popular hikes in the park given its ease of access and how easy it is with very minimal elevation gain or loss. The evidence of fevers was incredible on this trail. After our hike, we drove into town to grab some ice cream. Thank you. For our last day in the park, we drove towards mile 15 to do the Savage Alpine Trail. This is a 4.1 mile trail out and back and we planned on grabbing a bus to get back to the parking area. We are part of the 30% club. If you're wondering what that is, only 30% of people that actually come to Denali get to see the mountain. And right behind us, you can see the tip right there. This is a tougher hike, it definitely is. We parked on the steep side by accident, but we get to see Mount McKinley or Mount Denali behind us, which is really neat. It's the clearest we've been able to see the mountains since we've been here, so it's super exciting. So the path that we took up is very well laid out. It's almost rock stairs all the way up. It's pretty steep though, but the views so far worth it. Well, I've been off a little bit more than I could chew today. We'd been sick this past week and I thought I was gonna be able to do a bigger hike today and I just feel awful. So we have made a very tough decision to turn around. We very rarely do it, but you have to listen to what your body says. We're gonna go ahead and go back down and get back in the car and I think we're just gonna go back to the RV so I can get some rest. But if you are gonna do this hike, it really isn't that hard to get a good view. Even under a mile in, we had some pretty spectacular views. Once you get up to the rock point, it opens up and you get the sweeping views of the valley. So I would definitely suggest this hike, even if you don't do the full trail, we've been rewarded with so many incredible views, we do not regret it. an amazing week and a half in Denali National Park. We are actually heading north to Fairbanks. While this week didn't go exactly as planned with us getting sick in the middle of it, not being able to explore as much, what we did get to see was absolutely astounding and there are really no words for just how incredible this park actually is. Coming up next, we head to Fairbanks where we enjoy some local booze, meet some local friends, indulge in a salmon bake, for getting into the holiday spirit, relaxing in a hot spring, and taking in some new heights. Kind of rock here to get some respite. Look at my respite. Yeah, we're getting some respite. We have made it behind this rock. That's just. We're just gonna stop that and take that one. So the show. Uh. <laughs> park in oh, the park in Denali. The. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe.